What is going on guys and welcome to part 5 of Always Sometimes Monsters and it has gotten very very interesting because in the last episode we found out that the woman who left me is now getting married and she's invited me to the wedding. How crazy is that? I was made homeless, she left me, I only got paid like a tiny bit of money for the job that I've done and now she's getting married she bloody invited me to the wedding, so we're gonna now have to see what is going on. Let's open this box up. Yeah, we're gonna look inside the box. Let's just give Larry a call. Right, so let's see what's going on. Hello, hello. Larry Hunter speaking. What the hell, Larry? I thought we had a deal. What the beeb happened? Hey, Emilio. I've been expecting your call. 250 bucks. Who the hell can live off that? What happened to the rest of my money, Larry? You know that contract you signed for us that said we would pay you so long as you produced us a book. That little paperback you were supposed to finish drafting ages ago. Is it ringing any bells? Well, that contract states that if the guys upstairs aren't happy with the output, they can pull the plug. I guess they're exercising their rights. What's going on? Come on, I'm almost done, I promise. Just give me another week. We did that like 20 times already. I had to say it, kid. I hate to say it, kid, but you were a bad pick. I made a mistake, and now my bib is roasting just as much as yours is right now. My bib isn't roasted, it's goddamn freezing. I slept in an alleyway last night, Larry. I'm sorry to hear that, Emilio. You understand this is a business though, right? We don't just hand out money to every aspiring author who thinks they've got what it takes. We place bets on your potential. The guys upstairs said I made a bad bet and decided that enough was enough. I'm sorry, but even if I wasn't pissed that you put my career in jeopardy with your laziness, there's nothing I can do about it. So what now? What do you mean? We're done. I had to fight to get you the check you're holding now, Emilio. There's nothing left for you. This is not good. No, that can't be it. Please, for the love of God, don't do this. I need the money. I need to get to San Verdano. San Verdano? What the hell are you going to do all the way across the country? Wow, it's quite far. Pikachu's getting married. Ah, it's all starting to make sense now. You really miss her, huh? Alright, fine. I'll help you out. I'm a sucker for a good romantic story. But you've got to make this count. Look at that little rat running around. Alright, that's what I'm talking about. What's the deal, Larry? Tell me and I'll do it. Get on the next bus out of Dubstown and come meet me in Beaton. I've got an odd job I need someone to help take care of. You can stay at my place for a bit if you need to, but you're going to have to get here on your own. It's on the way to San Verdano, and I know you don't have the money for a flight, so don't even beep to me about it. What's the catch? That journal of yours? The one you write in every night before you go to bed? At the end of this month, I want it. Whatever's in there... I'm salvaging and turning it into something we can sell, even if I have to type it all out myself. Belinda's going to lose her beep if I lose this job, and you already owe me plenty. Fine, that's fair enough, I guess. I'll keep writing in the journal and you get it at the end of the month. We can do that. Great, then we've got a deal. Alright! Except for one glaring problem, Larry. I don't have any money for a bus ticket. Damn it, do I have to do everything for you? Sorry, I didn't mean to lose my temper. I'll make a few calls after you hang up. By the time you finish breakfast, there should be someone. There should be some work for you. Patrick over at the Daily News Times is always on the lookout for decent freelancers, and we go way back. So any recommendation I give is golden. High rung ad agency used to do our marketing, but I heard through the grapevine they're in a bit of a jam after losing their lead copywriter. I'll set up both meetings for you. Just go wherever you like and do a good job. Don't make me regret this. Don't worry. I won't. See you in a few days. Alright. Awesome. So we're going to go and catch a bus. Can we go in here? This is their studios. Check it out. Hey there. Name's Nigel. Do you work here? Uh, no. I just kind of walked in. I've been looking for the guys that run this place. I heard they've got a neat little game idea they've been making. Yeah, I can't help you with that. I'm just passing through and wandering into any building I can. They're probably down at the coffee shop. If there's one thing that's certain in life, it's that game developers love coffee. I mean, who doesn't like coffee? 
cool. Sunny movie mega complex. What are all these people queuing for? Okay. So has the leaks, the gas leak stopped yet? What does this guy want? Excuse me, I don't recognise you. Do you live here? Can you show me your key? I don't live here, sorry. I was just kind of exploring the city. Well, that's really nice, but I can't let you in unless I know for certain you're not one of them. Them? Who are you talking about? Aha, I just thought you'd say that. It's going to take a whole lot more than that if you want to get past the security guard. The people will not be ignored. Okay. Right, so we've got to go and find this guy. Did he say he was in the coffee shop? I'm sure he did. I'm sure that's what he said. So let's go and see. What's that? Cookies, something, crusty cream coffee shop. Let's have a look. It's pretty cool music. Dude, did you see that crazy guy pacing outside? He's here like every day. We should put him in the game. Invest in a sandwich. Dude, we're here every day. We should put ourselves in the game. Well, meta. I want to find this dude. Where is he? Ah, in here. Welcome to the Daily News Times. I can only help you if you have an appointment. I'm here to speak with Patrick. I was told he'd be expecting me. Oh, you must be Emilio. Please go ahead. Just look for the big glass doors. Alright. Patrick's office. Patrick. Yes, Mr. Bubbles. You're a hungry Mr. Bubbles, aren't you? Sorry, I was in my own little world. What the hell was that? I find feeding my fish very relaxing. That's nice, I suppose. I'm here about a freelancing job. A guy named Larry should have called about me. Ah, uh, yes, I was expecting you. Emilio, is it? We need someone to do a story on the press conference happening down at the movie theater. The Sunny Entertainment Company is announcing something big today. Rumour has it they're opening a new theatre in town and we need to be on top of it. We need total coverage. Alright, what do I have to do? You have to go down and attend the conference, get all the details from the announcement and find out what's going on. There should be a chap named Aaron there. He's a public relations director for the company. He'll probably give you a long spiel about the development. I've been in this business long enough to know a huckster when I see one, so don't just take his word for everything. You're a reporter, damn it. Get all the facts of the story, return here, and get it filled out any one of the terminals in the main office. We'll run it in tomorrow's edition. I'll pay you out first thing tomorrow morning after it prints. The gig pays 10 bucks per word, so you get 100 bucks for the piece. So what do you say, kid? I'm on it! Get down there ASAP before the conference I'll assume you have some sort of cell phone. I do have this handy dandy beeper that I picked up for cheap online. Just beep me if you need me. Beep you, seriously? What year do you think this is, kid? A goddamn beeper. Do you want an old timey news that says press on it too? A hat would be great, actually. I'm kidding. Just give me your damn beeper number and get to a press conference before I change my mind, you, you crazy ludite. So I don't get an old timey hat then? No. Now get going, kid. We have deadlines to meet. Alright. Go find out what's going on at this movie complex. So that's why there was loads of people in there. I'm looking for Aaron. Yes. So that's how we secured our position as a number one source for quality entertainment nationwide. Oh, it looks like they started without me. Which brings me to our big announcement. In just a few days, we'll begin construction on a brand new state-of-the-art multi-screen megaplex right here in the heart of Dubstown. Pardon me. This venue will be the largest in the entire country. Why would they build a massive cinema in this run-down town? Latest in high-quality film projection technologies. Ladies and gentlemen, this beloved but Asian theatre is about to get a real facelift. As we, as we jettison into the future of film. Plans currently include a massive 20 screen setup which means we'll be able to deliver more of the movies you love closer to home. There's no doubt 
that with this new development, Sunny Entertainment will it continue to be your first choice in quality family entertainment. Now, I'm sure you have plenty of questions about this exciting announcement. I do. Why on earth are you building it in this crap town? Alright, not everyone at once. You with the poofy hair. Yeah, hi there. Byron Cren Crescent with Polyhedron Online. Can you comment on the trend of your theatres increasing the price of popcorn every year? That's a good question. Well, our company has always strived to deliver the most cost efficient theatre experience for our millions of loyal customers. Prices do change. Over the years, a few of our concession items have had a slight price increase, but only as a means of counteracting inflation. We take immense pride in offering our customers a value of experience that continues to surpass that of our, all our competitors. Alright, who's next? You over there with the sunglasses. Right, hello chap. James Starling with Escapism Quarterly. Several of your competitors have begun offering their movies in full 3D. Does Sunny have any plans to follow suit? Great question, James. I'm happy to announce that this new Megaplex will be the first of our venues to offer this exciting new option for moviegoers. We've already slated our first 3D film, the horror extravaganza Slasher Man 4, for our opening weekend. You can build the tickets starting next week. Hmm, looks like we've got time for one more. Yes, you, ma'am, with a notepad. Ah, oh, hey, Sandra Ardent, joysandsticks.com. Can you comment on the per proposed location of this new development? There has been some negative speculation about where this new theatre is going to be built, and none of your representative has commented yet. Could you please clear up for us exactly where you guys are planning to build this thing? I assure you most of the contention to our plans has come from a very small vocal minority with some very radical and dangerous socialist ideologies. Our location is currently a rundown blight on this city and we believe that this theatre will help both our local community and economy. In fact, after the papers are signed tomorrow, we'll be underway to offer many new employment opportunities right here in Dubstown. But enough of the boring business talk, it's time to give you all a small taste of the sort of theatre experience Sunny Entertainment is known for. Please find your way into the theatre and enjoy this complimentary screening of our latest action flick, The Dirty Mackerel Fugitive. Apologies, you are a face I haven't seen before. Which outlet are you here with? Uh, oh, hey. Emilio, our daily news times. There's no need for formalities here, Emilio. My name's Aaron. I handle all of the communications for Sunny Entertainment and our parent company, Macroshaft Corporation. <laughs> it's my job to make sure that if you need anything at all, you've got it. Did you have any questions? Well, you seem pretty familiar with everyone here. Is that typical for this sort of thing? Well, it's part of the job, to be honest with you. I'm here to act as a facilitator between the press and the company, so I try and build a good working relationships. Helps things run smoothly. With that in mind, I would like to get to know you a little bit better. Patrick was always such a stick in the mud, but you seem a lot more mailable. What do you say we head into the other theatre? We've got an advanced copy of Duckman Returns if you're interested. I hear it's really good. Well, that movie won't be out for months. Then again, I probably shouldn't break away from the group just yet. Do it like, of course, but Duckman Returns won't be available for a long time, and you can see the Dirty Mackerel Fugitive anytime you like. So, what is it going to be? The Duckman Returns. Let's go and watch it. Get an exclusive screening. Okay. Duckman Returns. Oh, well, I didn't get to see anything. Day two. So, what did you think of the movie? Pretty darn fantastic, if I do say so myself. Wouldn't be surprised if it's a serious contender come award season. It was great. Thanks for showing it. I'm really glad you enjoyed it. Apart from a few test audiences, you're one of the first people in the world to see that flick. Everyone's been really looking forward to it, and early reviews have been overwhelmingly positive. I bet a lot of folks would be pretty jealous of you right about now. Enough about the film though, you're not writing a review anyway, are you? You're here to find out about an exciting new 20 screen 3D cable surround sound megaplex. I wanted to give you a chance to field any questions now before you wrote your story. You know, to make sure there's no incorrect assumptions or niggling inconsistencies. I'm here to help you with anything at all. 
Did you have any more questions? Tell me more about... Nothing else. Right. A gift bag. Oh, wow. Is this a bribe? What? Of course not. As if... As if that sort of thing would even work on a respectable writer like you. How on earth did you get the idea in your head? It's full of money. This bag is full of money. What? Oops, looks like I gave you the wrong bag. Oh man, I just missed out on 75 bucks! Two movie tickets. Boy, is that embarrassing. We can't afford to just go around bribing every journalist we want. Never mind the ethics. He was trying to bribe me. Yeah, right. Right, well, I should go. The story's not going to file itself. Take care. He tried to bribe me. Excuse me, can I have a minute of your time? I'm busy, mate. Yeah, I figured. You're probably already in the pockets, aren't you? Nobody cares about the little guy anymore. He forces a family into your hands. Here, take it. I have to go now. Please read it. We need your help. What was that? What did you just give me? Family given to you by a concerned resident of the borrowers. The family reads, please save the apartments. Sunny Megacorp fat cats have to. Long been in the pockets of the city. Save the residents and say no to the corporate overlords. Well, that was strange. Let's go and see if they're even open at this time. Okay. Have you finished the story yet? We've got deadlines. Just finishing up, don't worry. I'm sure he said use one of these terminals, right? Yeah, catchy headlines. State of the art fit coming to Dubstown. Yeah. Sunny Entertainment bringing the best to Dubstown. Yeah. Popcorn prize on the rise, concessions remain a, a luxury. Sunny Fit is still the cheapest option. Yep. Bringing in jobs. Yeah. Follow the story. Did you say you're hungry? Well, why don't you have some stew? Oh, yes, stamina. I didn't even know that. All right. Let's let him know. Okay, he's probably gone to bed. So, I guess I'm going to have to go to sleep now. On the street again. So, guys, I'm going to leave that episode there. Hope you enjoyed it. In the next episode, we'll be filing that story and hopefully heading out on the bus to Larry's place and then hopefully finding my ex-partner and trying to stop the wedding. So I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, share, comment. Thanks a lot for watching guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Mm -hmm.